We're round about the BNP Paribas Open here in Indian Wells. We're going to wander around and find out what the people here think about Canadian players, particularly young Canadian players. Who is your favorite young teenage Canadian tennis player? Probably Felix right now, I'd say, just because he seems so humble and so put together. And I like the way he plays, I like his attitude, and I like that no one really knows how to pronounce his name well, but they will. So can I ask you to pronounce his name? I think it's Ajay Aliasim. Aliasim. Pretty close, pretty close, pretty close. And, and what about the subtlety of his game? What impresses you the most? I like that he's able to close off big points. I think his win over Tsitsipas was impressive because he managed to really close the deal effectively in two sets, which is pretty unheard of for an 18-year-old. I mean, he's so young, and I like that he's owning the big stage. Right. And you didn't mention any Canadian women or you know tennis players, teenage women tennis players. You have no appreciation of them? <laughs> I do. Um, I think I like Bianca Andreescu right now. She's showing as well that she can close big matches, that she's kind of owning the stage. And she's won so many matches this year, probably more than anyone else on tour, which is impressive. And she's also only 18 and has a big game and a really big attitude and has personality, which is fun. Do you wish she was an American? No, I don't. Um, I'm actually Canadian. You are? <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> uh, Shapovalov. Why would you like Dennis? Why? Uh, I saw him, when the first time I saw him was a couple of years ago, and I said on the TV at the time that he's a future Grand Slam winner, and I, th I still think he is. I love the way he plays. He, he reminds me a little bit of a, of a left-handed sort of Boris Becker. I mean, a, you know, left-handed, right-handed, but the kind of the way he, when he was young and just went after the ball and attacked it. And, and I said, well, and once he learns to, you know, to uh, control it a little bit, I think he's uh, fabulous. Going to win Wimbledon? I think he could definitely win. Well, not this year, but I think he's, as I said, I think he will win a slam at some stage. I think he's good enough to do that. John Lloyd, we really appreciate that prediction. My pleasure. <laughs> Christopher Clary, have you seen a few tennis matches in your day? Not lately. <laughs> it's been a slow year, but I'm, I'm making up for lost time. Oh, it's a tough one. I haven't watched Felix that much yet, really live. I watched him on television. That's good. So right now, I'd say um, having a one-hander, I have to go with uh, Denis Shapovalov. When we watch uh, ATP Media, one of our favorite commentators, not our favorite, but he's not, he's not too bad, Robbie Cooney. You've just ruined the friendship here, Tom. <laughs> you just ruined the friendship. Now, here's our question today. <laughs> Who is your favorite young Canadian tennis player? Wow, that's a good one. I'm probably just going to give the edge to Dennis right now. Really? But I tell you what, Felix impressed me so much. These are the first couple of matches I've seen him play uh, in its entirety, and I've been so impressed with uh, the mentality. I've heard about the shot making, but uh, you know, from the neck up, this guy's qualified, seriously qualified. So I think Canadian tennis is so blessed to have two youngsters like us. You're gonna be busy for the next couple of years, my friend. Maybe more gray hair than I have already, Robbie. <laughs> Hopefully not, but um, you know, such exciting shot makers. Uh, I think uh, it's important that they surround themselves with good people and I think, um, Felix certainly has done that. I know there's been some changes as far as Dennis has been concerned, but hopefully he's going to be settling down now because I was very impressed. I've commented on both of their matches uh, this week so far, and uh, the flag is flying high and for good reason. Right. Almost as high as the South African flag? Uh, no. Uh, we have got Lloyd Harris breaking into the top 100, so that's nice for us. Uh, of course, Kevin's been injured of late, so that's been disappointing from a South African perspective. We haven't had much action. Uh, to talk about, but uh, hopefully Kevin will be back healthy and uh, Lloyd will be pressing on and challenging those young guys from Canada soon. <laughs> uh, Not a funny question, it's yeah, a serious question. Denis Shapovalov, yeah. right. it's fun to watch him and uh, he's really a good player and uh, yeah, just great player and uh, best of luck for him. Really? Are you as good a player as Denis? Do you think you could beat Denis? No, I don't think so. Don't think so? Yeah. <laughs> I will not try to say something bad or then I will have to play against him. No, I'll just say no. <laughs>